Good morning, guys. I have some very exciting news. I finally have a mic. My old one broke during a quite hilarious prank, if I do say so myself, last week, which obviously sucked because it was just like crackling. You couldn't hear any audio. And I figured, you know what, whatever. Like, let me just go micless because sometimes this mic is like so big and it's not even that big, but it just, it adds bulk to my camera. That's annoying. I mean, look at this. So I've always dreamed of not having to use a mic, but these past few days have made me realize just how much I need this because the quality of the audio is just so much better. Like, it's not even funny. Hopefully this sounds a little bit better. I feel so just all is right in the world now that I have my mic back. On another note, I'm stressed right now, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I woke up stressed. I went to bed stressed. It's funny because I knew I had a lot to do in the morning. So as I was going to bed, I was thinking like, should I set an alarm? Like what time should I set it? And then I realized, no, my anxiety will wake me up. And sure enough, it did in like the six o'clock hour. I knew it would. So I'm just, I feel like we have a lot to do. Tomorrow we leave, our place is a wreck. Like we got Kava back, like it just, nothing is in order. I want to do like a little cleaning before we leave just because this is someone's home. I don't want to leave it dirty. And not that we're like, obviously the type of people who like would trash a place, like it's fine. But you know, I mean, you live life, there are crumbs everywhere. Like it's just, it's not in the state it needs to be. And the reason I haven't even said, the reason I'm stressed out is because we only have a few hours to do that this morning because we are actually gonna be going to the Bengals game, question mark. We don't even have tickets because it's just so expensive. We have two friends from Cincinnati who are actually in town. They're going to the game. They don't have tickets yet either but I know that we're gonna be gone like all afternoon, all evening, maybe through the night, like I don't know, but all I know is that normally that would be the time when we start packing and loading the car because my goal is to be out of here super early tomorrow morning because we have a long drive. Like I don't wanna leave at 10, 11 a.m. because then we're not gonna get to our destination so late and it's just, I just have a lot, I've got a load of laundry in. I know that this is all so, what's the word, stupid? <laughs> like, stop being stressed, but I can't help it. I'm just feeling a little overwhelmed with everything I have to get done. On a happier note, we've got the advent calendar, which has been really just the bright spot of my days. Day number 19, take a, take a nice long look. Let us see, what is it gonna be? Wow. It's like the universe knew I needed this. I really just needed, well, it's not dark, so I mean, I normally like dark, but I just needed a classic coffee. I don't want flavors. I don't want gingerbread stuff. Like I just need, I just need like a nice black cup of coffee. And I'm gonna be so honest, guys, in the, what is this, 19 days I have been doing Vlogmas, this is the first one where I don't want to vlog today. And that's a very weird thing to say as I'm vlogging, but I'm just being honest. Like if I had it my way, the camera would be in a corner and I'd be like getting things done. But you know what? That's what makes Vlogmas fun. Like vlogging when you don't even want to and showing it anyway and life's not perfect and <sighs> deep breaths. Making our Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately. I can barely find the time to sleep. Yeah, I spend my time running around. It is a lot later, like three or four hours later. I've just been at it, cleaning out the fridge, packing our things. And one of the big problems is because we're making a stop along the way for a couple of days, that is complicating things because I can't just pack everything in my suitcases mindlessly. Like I have to think like, what do I want for those two days? And it's just, it's been a lot, but there has been progress. And Zach just asked me a question that my ears have, I don't think they've ever heard in my life. You wanna tell the vlog? I asked Clancy if she wanted to go to Bar Louie to eat lunch today. He did, my favorite place ever. And oh my gosh, look at his little hat collection. What are you gonna pick out today with the outfit, Zach? I don't know. <sighs> that one looks good with the black, I feel like. Pop a color in black. And then let's not overthink it. If you look good, you look good. <laughs> oh yeah, you look good. But do you want to share why you're letting me go to Bar Louie today? Why you're feeling... is behaving today, so <laughs> she gets rewarded. <laughs> and by that, he means I came through for us, guys. So a lot has happened since we last spoke, not just the whole packing thing, but I had put out on Instagram yesterday saying like we were searching for Bucks Bengals tickets. 
and one of my old co-workers, Jocelyn, messaged me saying she knew someone who was selling their tickets, which I know a lot of people message me being like, there are many tickets available on like Ticketmaster, SeatGeek, all of that. And yes, there are many, but they were so freaking expensive. Like I don't want to spend $450 for nosebleeds. I mean, obviously like we could, we just, we weren't sure. It's a very upsetting thing to do. So when Jocelyn messaged me, I was like, what? It just happened this morning and like an hour ago. I messaged her coworker, it was her coworker who was selling them 125 each. I'm so excited. So yeah, we're going to the game. Zach's friends, I don't think they bought tickets yet. They might try to do like a last minute thing because you can luck out and get really good tickets for a good price last minute. But it's gonna be, it's gonna be a day. I think it's like, I think it's gonna be really good weather. Like I'm wearing my light puffer because it's in the 60s, but that's beautiful, especially for this the time of the year. And this is my progress. So I've got one jam packed suitcase. Like you guys saw me zip it. I added two other packing cubes after. I have like a strategy where I flip it over and then I shove them in here. It's, it's a whole thing. I still have this to play with. This is what I'm bringing to Charleston. This is, <laughs> this is just guys like it's, it's so frustrating that I bought more things. Like that's the problem. And I know I shouldn't have, I know it's all my fault. So hundred percent blame me but I bought things, you know, since I've been here and it's hard to fit these things in bags that were already filled to the brim. Let's see how the bathroom's kind of a nightmare a little bit. And like, I just, I, I'm glad we made a lot of progress, especially like little things you maybe can't see in like the kitchen and all of that. I just don't want to have to do all this tomorrow morning because I'm planning on just waking up and going. Like I, really want us to get, should I just say it? Oh my gosh, maybe when we get in the car we'll chat, guys. Cause I feel like if you guys have been to this location, I want you to comment and give us any recs because we'll be there for a full day and then like a night, just like the night we get there. So I'm excited. Gonna try to throw some more things into bags and then head to Tampa. This is my Bengals game, OOTZ. Really just trying to get fancy in all reality, guys. I just, I wanna be comfy, but also I was gonna wear leggings and I'm trying to bring with me and wear something a little more bulky, just to help with packing. So that's the game plan. Love my pink puffer. Zach's doing the whole sweats look too. We just, we couldn't be bothered, you know? Go Joe. I just wanna soak in the glory of today for as long as possible because I know for a fact that Zach loves me more today than he did yesterday. I love you so much. It's, my heart's gonna explode. More than yesterday? Way more. I came through for us, I secured the bag. I did it. All my connections, where were your connections for this? They were hiding now. But I thought I would share where we are gonna be going tomorrow because I've been talking about this top secret location just for no reason at all. Literally no reason, just other than to build the excitement. We are gonna be going for two days on our way to New York to Charleston, which I feel like a lot of you guys probably assume this because this is where we almost spent an entire month. Instead, we ended up doing Charlotte though, and then two months in Florida, but we are gonna spend a whole month in Charleston. Zach, Zach, it's kind of the reason we did. <laughs> yeah. Zach doesn't really, Quiet. Quiet. Zach's not the biggest Charleston fan. That's again, none of that is true. He's not a Charleston hater. Zach, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? You I'm said, saying a million times. I said I, I like Charleston and it's gonna be lovely and I would go there. It's just if it was on the top of my list to spend a month, it wasn't on the top of my list. And to be clear, so yeah, so Zach would have went gladly, but if I if I know he wouldn't, it's not his favorite. Why well, I obviously wasn't gonna book that. So we're it, this is a great compromise. We're gonna do a full day there. It's probably gonna be really chilly for Charleston. Obviously, like it won't be like the ideal situation but i think maybe it'll be decorated for christmas and we'll still have a good time we might like it on the southern charm oh my god sweet because we we've watched a couple of seasons of southern charmed it was it's already it was a terrible show after like the first season they just kept doing the same thing over and over but the first season was the first juicy season was because you had the pregnancy like the, you yeah, can't fake a pregnancy a you know what i mean like that was real drama but i also think it'll be great for us to get slowly and slowly and slowly acclimated to cold weather because we have not experienced cold weather since last year. Like, well, I guess it technically would have been this year, but like since like last spring slash winter, because we've just been going south and south and south. And the fact that it's December, the fact that it's about to be Christmas, like, doesn't it still feel like summer to you? 
Well, yeah, it's, it certainly doesn't feel like Christmas is a week away. We're excited, and I'm just I on the prize. I'm very excited. Barlowy, we're coming for you. I'm really sad. Every time I hype it up, because this happened in Nashville, it was too crowded for us to go in. But crossing my fingers, Barlowy, please have a seat for us. Alright, Zach and I ate our bar Louie. It was better than ever. Were you like on cloud nine or what? Cloud ten, if that's such a thing. Oh wow, cloud ten. It was so good guys. Oh my gosh. And now we are going to the game, but as you can see, maybe, maybe you can, maybe you can't. We made a pit stop at the mall because I just didn't trust warm enough guys. I was feeling brave, feeling bold, but I realized like I'm already cold and it's only getting warmer I mean colder. it's 66 or it's only getting colder it is 66 degrees right now okay so I'm screwed when I go to New York I know we all know it but I feel much more happy and confident in my sweater I just went to American Eagle by the way and this is something like I am going to wear like I think this is so cute and actually Zach got it for me it was his birthday present to me so thank you I forgot my card forgot Thanks. my card happy birthday it's cold outside Keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow it is Christmas. The first for you and me. That game was insane. Like, we could not have asked for a better game. No, that was pretty dope. We were down and out in the first half. And then we came up. No, that was amazing. And we were saying, like, if we ended up not going to the game, we would have watched it on TV and been like, oh my gosh, why? We should why be there. We should be there. So I'm so grateful for my friend Jocelyn. Like, she really came through for us. Yes, thank you. That was so kind. Like, just she went out of her way to do that. So that was great. And now we are going to go home to continue to get our lives together. Pack all of that. Zach has some work he has to do in the morning because he's taking off from work tomorrow. And Tuesday and Wednesday. Wow. Wow. You're on vacation, Zach. Yeah, it doesn't feel like it. <laughs> <laughs> we still have to do some work. Well, that, but like just packing and traveling. Like, it's like it's never restful when we travel. No. It's a lot. Like, I'm not going to lie. I, it's just because of all the crap we've accumulated. And I added on to that by buying this sweater today. And so it's just fitting it all in the car. It's never a pleasant experience. But we're going to make it work. We're going to do it. And I think, not gonna lie guys, we're gonna get Kava. I'm addicted. We're home sweet home. Our last night in the condo. This is actually pretty sad because this is by far my favorite condo. But as you can see, I lost some nails. Packing always does it to me. Like these nails stay on so much, but then as soon as I start packing, all bets are off. So that's kind of tragic. And then Kava, this is my last one for quite some time because we don't have Kava, I don't think, on Long Island. At least not when I was there. So I have no recollection of a combo. Where is my fork? Also, we've got pita chips in there. And this is much needed. I am so freaking hungry. It is nine. Obviously, we never eat dinner at nine, but we were busy at the game. And oh my gosh, this looks so good. Okay, also, I just seriously ran into American Eagle. Like, I wasn't trying to find something I like. I got this for like $24, I think. It was on sale. I'm in love. Like, it's so perfect. Perfect crop. Like, it's, you could wear, um, regular jeans with it, but it's shorter. Like, it's not, it won't go past your butt or anything. It's, like, just the perfect crop. I'm gonna see if I can find a link for this and link it below. If it's still on sale, you guys need this in your life. It's the material. Like, it's so soft. I cannot stand scratchy sweaters. It's, I don't know what the fabric is, but it's so unbelievably soft. Like, it's like a blanket on your body and it comes in multiple colors. Zach really likes this green color, but I want it to go with the, I guess this is like an off-white, kind of whitish. And I really like how it's this type of turtleneck where it's not like squeezing you, it's like very loose. So yeah, I'm gonna try to link this below. I love this. This is our last chat in this bathroom, guys. I'm so sad. What the heck? Where's the time gone? It seriously feels like yesterday. 
we were first moving into this condo and we were so excited like that's one thing i don't know i just like love enjoying the little joys of life you know what i mean like getting excited about things like this i don't know we've had such a great time here zach has been packing the car i'd say we'll probably have like maybe a fifth of the car packed tonight i mean it's not that much but it's really nice to get like that head start and then tomorrow, mm, I'm wondering what's gonna happen. I thought we were gonna wake up at like 6 a.m. Zach said absolutely not to that. So I don't know. I'm like, I definitely don't wanna sleep in till like eight or something. Like that would be nuts. Cause then we wouldn't get on the road till like 10 something. I don't know. We always say we're gonna leave a lot um, sooner than we actually do. And also, okay, so I am temporarily using the Neutrogena makeup wipes, which it feels so wrong because I have crossed over to the um, makeup towels life where you literally just wet the towel. I have it linked down below, by the way, if you guys are interested. It's just under my Amazon favorites. Like, just I literally have just like my core, like 20 favorites on there. Um, so, yeah, so I just need to order new towels. I would say they last about a year. Like, suddenly after a year, they, they kind of smelled bad. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. And then I lost one. So, and then I threw out the third one because I'm like, you know what, let's just, let's start fresh and that'll be, that'll be good. I mean, that's amazing. If you only have to buy like $15 worth of uh, makeup towels a year, as opposed to this, obviously you're buying like, I don't know, every however many days and it's better for the environment. So let's see. It's always so intriguing for me though to see like, oh, that was all on my face makeup and it's in the oh my gosh it's like the in the imprint of fingers that is so weird but tomorrow the, here's the game plan tomorrow i am going to be vlogging i'll vlog our road trip maybe a little q a possibly i mean if you guys have i don't know maybe if you guys have any like questions you want us to answer leave it below i'm not guaranteeing it though but i just feel like that could be a fun segment let me know if you want that to be a segment i might even do that on my instagram stories i haven't figured that out and then we're gonna arrive in Charleston. So I'll show you our Airbnb, what it looks like, and then it'll be our first night downtown. I have a feeling we're gonna be tired, but I'm excited, it'll be nice. I'm really glad we decided to stop in Charleston, obviously, to break up the drive. Like it, it's, it's such a long drive from St. Petersburg to Long Island, New York. Like I'm just, I'm nervous, but it'll be fun. It'll be fun vlogging. We will do, Tuesday, all day Tuesday in Charleston, I'll be vlogging. And then Wednesday is when we pack up the car and possibly head to New York. We don't know if we're doing it all in one shot. It's gonna be a long drive, but I'm taking a break that day because there's gonna be, like I won't have the chance to upload content. So I will have a pre-uploaded video in which Zach and I react to your assumptions about our relationship. I do have a disclaimer. We filmed it before I got my mic the audio is just not the best. Like, it's not bad, but it's not, like, crisp. It, we kind of, I don't know. You kind of have to turn the volume up. I don't know. I'm scared. But with Vlogmas, I can't be a perfectionist. Like, I have to get the video up, you know? So, I don't know. That kind of, I feel weird uploading, like, content that I, like, know isn't as good as it could be. And then also the other thing is, like, it's authentic when we tape it the first time, right? Like, we were kind of surprised by the assumptions. And so yeah like I don't want to have to redo it because we won't have that same authentic reaction you know so I don't know guys I'm trying I'm trying to get through 25 days of vlogmas we've made it so far and honestly I have to say I swear today was the only day I was like I don't want to vlog every other day I've woken up so excited today I just had a lot to do I'm sure this vlog's pretty like short and just all over the place it's just life and I technically yesterday I did take a break from vlogging because it was Zach's uh, take over Zach's day in his life definitely check that out if you haven't already because it it was a good one he actually like not actually it makes like him surprised but like he really did like good content good talk very honest raw real those are the vlogs I love watching so I very much so enjoyed editing that one and yeah I don't know I'll be sad when vlogmas is over I will like I think it will be nice to get back to not just like throwing together content. Like if you guys watch this when it goes up tomorrow morning, that means like I literally, this is me talking the night before. Like we are literally <laughs> practically FaceTiming it feels like. It's so in real time, which for my type A personality is just like, <laughs> it feels like I'm just always behind, you know what I mean? But, um, but no, I mean, I've had so much fun and I will continue having fun. We're gonna have, right now, this is where a lot of changes happen for Vlogmas, like this, 
is my exciting part, I feel like. So I'm excited. Make sure you guys are subscribed if you haven't already. Join the socials. I'm now on TikTok. I'm, now, I'm doing it, guys. We're talking. I'm trying. So I get so happy when I see you guys comment on there because I just feel like it's like, oh, like my YouTube people. Because TikTok feels like a foreign, scary place. But when I see like my YouTube people, I'm like, oh, okay. So it makes me so happy, guys. So anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Start, well, I guess continue taking off my makeup. <sighs> I don't know. I'm looking at a huge mess, like just a huge mess. So maybe I'll kind of like <laughs> leave that for the morning. I don't know. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs>